feel it now. It's all around me. A silent voice I can't deny. A mother's Eleventh part of Sakar Murli, fourteenth April, twenty twenty one. Rehearsal. In a play, each actor has to rehearse beforehand. In order to play the part, he has received well. In the same way, in order for you. lovely flowers to pass the difficult exam that is to come you definitely have to rehearse beforehand with the power of yoga however if you haven't made this effort over a long period bahut kaal then you will be nervous and fail at that time that is why you first have to make your divine foundation form and become those with <coughs> divine virtues rehearsal who does rehearsal actors musicians students wear rehearsal rehearsal it's before some piece of art like culture program singing dancing acting and players and practicing is different rehearsal is different practicing is a part of rehearsal rehearsal is just you have been practicing for long period and now your program or the final performance is on particular date real said it just before that the final finishing practice so before some concert before orchestra before some public performance like gymnasium or before some yoga performance some skit some drama some play some show movie shooting so rehearsal and dress rehearsal complete rehearsal as it is so rehearsal is also in another context in medical field also they do rehearsal that is known as mock drills army medical like 
In Israel, they had done mock drill. Two gunmen. They held one lady in captive, and now how to rescue that lady? Or the building is on fire. Or the terrorists have bombed some building, and now you have to save the people who are trapped inside. In medical, especially disaster management. For example, mass casualty. Many times it happened that the bus, which was coming up from Abu Road to Mount Abu, fell off the cliff, and then thirty people came. Then you have to do triage and decide about the management. So mock drills during. natural calamities so you do mock drill mass casualty mock drills so that is also a sort of rehearsal in army they do the rehearsal like they will create a scene where army is attacking so now how you are going to protect your camps so in army in medical field in musical field thinking dancing acting they all do rehearsal baba wants us to rehearse why because great papers are ahead there are 12 papers which are going to come or they are already in the air but each brahmin will have to undergo these papers and you need good rehearsal to come out with flying colors otherwise you will become nervous and fail first 12 papers five vices the papers of five vices will come that's why you have to become absolutely viceless even some vice is suppressed or hidden even a trace is there that vice will come out during difficult times when you are at your weakest point unguarded unprotected so brahmins will have to face these surprise tests or papers so the first paper is paper of five vices so be prepared keep on examining yourself again and again checking and rechecking because vices are very subtle sometimes they take on subtler form or they come in the subtlest way to identify them to diagnose them and to initiate the treatment is of utmost importance nobody likes to be stamped with some diagnosis but this is self diagnosis be your own physician nobody is going to come and teach you nobody is come going to come and diagnose you you have to diagnose your own vices your own weaknesses imperfections defects flaws feelings don't depend on anybody vashibhut in today's avyakt murli baba said this word dependent this word vashibhut is like a ghost entering some soul and how distress that soul becomes so karmatit means one who is free from bondage karmatit means one who is beyond the attraction of senses karmatit means one who is never upset karmatit means one who nothing ties down body and bodily relationship 
There is one word relationship of karma and there is another word bondage of karma. The soul will come in relationship of karma but it will never be tied down by bondage of karma. Because when the soul is tied down by bondage of karma, the soul becomes distressed. Even though on the surface it appears everything is there but there is something missing. It disturbs itself and it, it disturbs others. So karmatit means someone who has understood the secret and that's why that soul is never upset. Karmatit means one who is beyond all the past karmic bondages. No karmic bondages. Waste thoughts are the strings of the bondages of karma. And there is a scissor to cut this these strings and what is that Caesar? I am good, Baba is good, drama is good and everything that is happening is good because this entire confluence age is cons- auspicious. Behind the curtain of loss there is benefit. Behind the curtain of loss there is benefit hidden. You are holy swans. So you must pick up the good the pearl and give up the pebbles, the waste. This is the definition of karmatit. So many. There are eight definitions of karmatit in today's Murli. So out of the twelve papers we are going to face in the end. The first is five vices. The second paper, five elements. These elements will take on a fierce form, they will become more ferocious, more fiery. Just imagine if one element shows little anger, what happens to the world? If there is a slight earthquake, so much disturbance, upheaval, upheaval not just in the land, but upheaval in the minds. Now along with earthquake, imagine if volcano combines it. If there is a torrential rain, so more than one natural calamity is taking place, more than one element is involved, what will happen to the souls? So this paper is going to come and we should remain prepared for it. That's why you have to develop resistance to cold, hot, and rains remain undisturbed even though it is biting cold or it is scorching heat of the sun or it is torrential rains your purshat your effort should remain undisturbed let whatever that happen is happens nothing affects me there is a core in me a center point in me where i remain absolutely undisturbed on the surface i am in extensive activity I am involved in hundreds of things, in hundred types of sevas, but inside I am totally detached. Nyara, this is karmatit. No bondage of karma. Videhi, that is your laksh, that is your aim, to remain unaffected, undisturbed by anything that is happening on the surface. Such a soul will come in relationship of karma, not in bondage of karma. Once you do a karma, you finish, you don't remember. You don't have a list of things you have done. I did this, I did that, I did this. You don't remember anything. Karma this means one who is light in Kumar, Baba said today in Murli. Kumar means those who are light. They can go up or they can go forward, any direction. How much they, however they much they want, because they are free without any bondage. That is what Kumar's life is. Total freedom. No, they are not fighter. They are Sahaj Yogi. So second paper which is going to come is five elements. So be prepared. Develop that resistance, that resilience within yourself to remain undisturbed. Oh, it's too much hot today. 
Oh, it's too much cold today. I don't have any fan in my room. Light is gone. This is not good. That is not good. This is not good. That is not good. This is like this. That is like this. This is not karma tit. Karma tit means everything is good. Baba is good. I am good. Every scene is good in this drama. Yeah, I enjoy everything. The third paper is deficiency of facilities. Sadhan abhav. Now you have everything. Just imagine, can you spend a whole day without mobile? Without internet? Without laptop? Then this practice should be done. You can create your own digital detox party of three days. Where you will not touch any digital devices. Remain aloof from them. No interference of technology. For this you will have to go to some other place. But with planning. At least three days or one day. Where you remain totally free from everything. All electronics. Because they create disturbing vibrations. So that is the third paper which is about to come. Deficiencies, scarcities, paucities of all the devices, all the electronics, all the scientific paraphernalia. The fourth paper is bodily karma bhog. Bodily karma bhog. Karma bhog means suffering of karma. This is the fourth paper which is going to come. You have to do rehearsal right now. In today's Avyakta Murli Baba has given two methods. To conquer karma bhog. What are they? Two methods to conquer karma bhog. First, injection of bodilessness. Just as, just as there is a pain and the anesthetist gives anesthesia. And because of the effect of the drug person becomes drowsy and there is no more pain. In the similar manner, the person who is karmatit will know the secret of bodily karma bhog and he will have his own injection of bodilessness but he must have practiced bodilessness from a long period of time then only he can give this injection first second being obedient he will receive blessings from the father being obedient he receives blessings from the father because of these two things he will be able to get over any karma bhog there are people who have less pain but they shout a lot. But there are people who have more pain and they chalana, they manage. They manage. Every day I see in hospital, some they don't have anything and yet they keep on shouting a lot. Some they have so much and yet they are calm, quiet, tolerant. So the fourth paper which is about to come is Karma Bhog. You have to win over Karma Bhog by the power of Karma Yoga. By increasing the practice of bodilessness. I am not body. It is not that for bodilessness you every time sit and meditate. Forget meditation. There are other methods. Simple a thought. I am a soul. You become bodiless. Simple practice of self-respect. I am bodiless. Simple Remembering your attainments, you become bodiless. Getting lost in his love, you become bodiless. Thinking of Madhuban, you become bodiless. Anything that makes you bodiless. Anything. Kumar means somebody who is like an angel. His glimpse, jalak, should be seen from outside. So, angel. So, bodilessness. That is the fourth paper. Fifth paper. Third world war. There would be war-like situation in the world. And when war begins, nobody knows when the war is going to end. There is no timeline. It will go on and on and on. People were so distressed during the second world war. They were thinking as if this war is going to go on and on and on. Do you have to remain prepared right now for such a war-like situation? The next paper, Evil Souls. They will attack. They will attack only those bodies where the soul is very weak. Where the soul is very strong and powerful. Evil souls cannot touch them. The next paper, criminal souls. Baba has said, criminal souls will attack you. 
the paper would be from criminal souls as well the next laukic souls paper from laukic souls some attachment to them you will remember some news from that side somebody has died somebody is suffering somebody is sick and you are distressed your brother whom you had left long back now you heard he has started drinking so you are disturbed ninth alaukic souls karmatit means who is nyara from laukic as well as alaukic bondages this is karmatit this laukic world a laukic world is also a sort of trap a prison where everything is good everybody is gyani but you get caught in gyanis they are more dangerous trappers so laukic another is alaukic that is also a bondage that is also a paper and paper would come from these people only more because you have a lot of hisab kitab karmic accounts with these souls and the last old sanskars okay old sanskars your own sanskars are your greatest enemies that's why you have to program and reprogram deprogram and reprogram now you have done something multiple times you are getting up every day at 3 o'clock in the morning so that program is created forget what you are doing but that program body is adjusted to that program now you want to change this program so you have to create a mental clock a new program deprogram and now reprogram d reject this program and create a new program of 2 am and for this it is not about 2 am you have to keep on thinking about whole day and program yourself your body should get adjusted to 2 am and you have to create this just as it is 1 o'clock or 12 noon you go for lunch so also without any alarm clock the moment it is 2 o'clock you will wake up because what you have done you have deprogrammed the old and reprogram a new program has been created so it's all about forget what you are going to do it's not about and if you say i have to do very good amrit vela then it is very difficult do something else get up for something else read murli from 2 am to 3 am do exercise for half an hour do pranayama for half an hour straight away go don't go and you that will go on for some days and then it will collapse the motivation should be very strong i have to do yoga is not a very powerful motivation that will go on for some days but it will go away create something else i want to do churning amrit vela is not just for doing yoga it's for churning it's for something else also where you remain alert how to remain alert now otherwise sitting in amrit vela and sleeping what is the use better go to sleep do something else but create that sanskar of staying awake that is more important then gradually you can change your activities first do exercise for half an hour and when you have done exercise you are sweating again take bath again start and don't start sitting at amritla keep on moving here and there do something else other other activities spend this 3 hours doing anything which is not yoga when one that sanskar is pakka now shift towards meditation gradually because you have to train this mind this body for something else you have to create a new program for the body if i say that okay i want to get up at amrit vela at 2 o'clock and i want to do meditation for 5 days i will do and then i will again again sleep because this 2 am program is not final i have to create it for permanently for the whole um, whole life then that thing is useless whether i am sleeping at 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock the program is so strong that my body gets up the body demands body cannot sleep after 2 am it, it, it cannot sleep even for 1 minute after 2 am because i have created such a strong program within me so create new program for that deprogramming and reprogramming then you don't need anything any alarm you are created a mental alarm here while sleeping you give order to your brain 
I am going to get up at 2 a.m. Such a strong program, then automatically you get up and see it is exactly 2. Not a minute here and there. Because programming of body is there. Now what to do? Go and sit in yoga and sleep. No, do something else then. If you sleep. If you don't go to sleep, it's fine. Otherwise, start reading some murli or do churning or write something or listen some class or do exercise or walking, jogging, running. Do anything else. But don't sleep. That is more important. To increase, to remain alert is more important than anything else. It doesn't mean that I just sit and keep on chanting, I am soul, I am soul, I am going to go supreme abode and then coming down and moving here and moving there. Reject this program. Create a new revolutionary program. Because more important is staying awake. Then the second step is doing meditation. Even before meditation, the first step is creating a program for the mind. Then easily you can shift from exercise to meditation, from churning to meditation. From jogging, walking, running to meditation. So, old sanskars, you have to understand. This is a sanskar which is created. It is an old program. I have to delete this program and create a new program. So, this is 10th and last two papers, financial and legal. Some financial crisis will happen. No money. Suddenly, you, have, you are bankrupt. You have no money at all. What do you do? Money is such an important thing in the laukic world. Yeah, bank is robbed. So you have no money. So financial paper. Last, twelfth paper, legal paper. Everything is going on well and suddenly you are involved in some, embroiled in some legal suit where you have to keep on visiting court every 15 days. Now it's such a stress. Whether you have no business with it. But still somebody, somebody involved you. Notice is coming every 15 days. And then you have to keep on submitting some sickness application that I am sick or show that falsely you are admitted in some hospital or something like that. So these are total 12 papers. First, 5 vices. Second, 5 elements. Third, deficiency of facilities. Sadhan. Fourth, karma bhog. Fifth, third world war. Then, laukik, alaukik, evil souls, criminal eyed souls, then old sanskars, and then legal and financial. These are the 12 papers are coming, are already, have already come. And they are on the way and some are already facing it. Some are already in, into it. Half of the Brahmin world is suffering from COVID. They all are in that phase of karma bhog. Some are doing well, some are very much distressed. That is going on. So create a new program, which is important. Program for everything. Create a new program for sleeping. Floor sleeping. You have to create a program, without that you can't sleep. Who will sleep on the floor? It's so tough job. You have to create a program for this. Exercise, you have to create a program, otherwise you can't do. Food, food. In silence, you have to create a program for it. Without that, you can't do. For everything, you have to create a... Murli understanding, Murli reading. You have to create a program for that first. Then only action. First mind and then action. Otherwise, it is not possible. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Rehearsal. In a play, each actor has to rehearse beforehand in order to play the part he has received well. In the same way, in order for you lovely flowers to pass the difficult exam that is to come, you definitely have to rehearse beforehand with the power of yoga. However, if you haven't made this effort over a long time, then you will be nervous and fail, fail at that time. This is why you first have to make your divine foundation firm and become those with divine virtues. Sakar Murli, 14th April 2021. Om Shanti.